So guys, we're gonna start the room tour for this year. I did kind of debate whether or not we should even do it. We did a big room tour last year. Um, one, I won't lie, it does help because it get it's the, or by far the video that gets the most views every year. But also, um, I went back and I watched that video. A lot has actually changed in a year, more than I thought it did. So yeah, we're gonna show you around the room. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so we're gonna start the tour right here. We are at the very top of the stairs. And this is a poster from SMT3 Nocturne. Uh, and when I ordered it, I didn't know that it would fit this perfectly. I ordered it because I wanted a bigger poster, but I didn't measure. And when I got the frame, it literally fits like right in that space really well. So I actually really like it there. I do kind of maybe want to add some more to above it or something or light, but yeah, this is a good start. And then turning around, going down the stairs, nothing's really changed except for we added one poster. This is just the poster that came in uh, Haven. And then it's still the same posters that were up. This is Transistor. One of the No More Heroes posters. And Dragon's Lair. And then we're coming down. We're going to start off this way this year. Here's our wonderful bathroom. Nothing's changed in here. I have some orchids that are not making it through the winter that I'm trying to hydrate. And the only highlight in here really is we do have the TV up, a little extra LED I had. And somebody got me one of those little um, dongles that you plug in. And uh, I don't know, it's fine, it's fun. I will be honest, I only turn this on like once or twice a year. This game specifically, I keep thinking I'm gonna get further in and I hate it, it it's too hard for me. But yeah, it's fun to have that in here. Next up we have our- More table. orchids. Yeah. That have uh, scale bug right now. We're gonna skip plants. I don't think people are gonna watch this video for plants. So this area is going to change. This is all going to be gone. My daughter doesn't play with any of this stuff anymore, so I'm going to turn it into more of the game room. And then, yeah, you want to talk about this area? Lots has changed over here. I think last room tour video, there was still the Nerf wall. Yeah, we had a we put a big, like it was almost the whole thing. It was a Nerf wall. And stuff. We just got rid of all of it and put our arcades over here. And our next goal is we're going to get some fake brick wall to put up behind the arcades. A uh, neon sign, and then from there. Yeah, I want to have a, definitely an arcade feel. This, this, all these like little blotches are just when I where I repatch walls from taking down all the stuff that was hanging. We had like their kids dress up costumes over here from when they were little. They obviously are old now. They don't dress up like stormtroopers and superheroes, so that's all gone. I love having all these arcades right here. It's just like been a lot of fun having them all together. My uh, <clears throat> wife actually just bought me the riser for this for my birthday this year. And my God, it makes a huge difference having risers on the game side. So much better. And then this used to be the main TV, which we'll get to. I got a new giant TV for free this year. So this is going to get put up over here. And I'm, I want to get another little entertainment center and kind of turn this into like a retro area. So yeah, this has changed a lot. And we'll keep changing. Mm -hmm. So we'll skip around. Uh, left or straight. Oh, we'll just yes, go right. all the way, yeah. yeah. Here's just one of the little retro stations we have hooked up. Uh, I haven't used the PS uh, in forever, but we actually played the Nintendo. We've been playing a little bit of Legendary Wings, and then, like, I still love Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. Some of the old classics, so we pop that in once in a while. Um, usually, I'm the only one playing it, because the kids get bored with the old retro stuff. But that's fine. Over here is our um, chair full of... Mini stuffed animals. Plushies. And Just a ton of plushies. Table with a mini Super Nintendo and PS2 on it. Uh, we don't really use it except my dad when he well, plays Persona 2 and other games, but. Well, not, well, it was Persona 3, first of all, but. Oh, my bad. It's all, nothing's even hooked up anymore. We actually had a huge uh, flooding problem right here, so all the cords back here got unplugged. I just haven't hooked it back up because I haven't used it in a couple of months now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's a. PS2 is one of my favorites. Speaking of which, here's my PS2 collection. This is, I think, is one of the biggest changes. I watched the video last year, and I didn't realize how many PS2 games I actually picked up in one year. So it was quite a large difference. If I remember, I will try to go back and put the difference from last year to this year over right here in the video. But yeah, this is all just all PS2 games. Uh, after I do my pickups video in a couple days, I will actually be over 400 PS2 games. So that's pretty cool. 
And then we just got the bar area. I do have to eat these chocolates. This is a part of my uh, Secret Santa from one of the different, another YouTuber. So, uh, yeah, I will do that soon, I promise. I'm just wussing out. Next up, we have our uh, PlayStation games. PlayStation, yeah, mostly <laughs> PlayStation. Bless you. So my PS5 collection, very small. I'm not really actively trying to get games for it unless they're ones I plan on playing soon or wish I had time to play soon. The only one I've actually beat is Elden Ring. I would love to play Stray soon, um, but when I don't know when I'll have time. And then just a couple little odd, uh, odds and ends, little figures. Uh, and then here's the PSP collection. I actually got a few games for this this year. Not actively looking for it, just finding them randomly, which is pretty cool. Off like Facebook Marketplace or whatnot. Here is all the PS4 collection. So I will say now, <clears throat> I forgot to mention it. Um, so these two shelves I have over here, I absolutely hate. I want to upgrade them to the same uh, shelving unit that I have the PS2 games on. Only because I'm getting so many games now that I'm having to do double rows. And I don't want to do that. I want to be able to see every game at one time. So these, hopefully these shelves get upgraded this year. I, they almost have to, because I don't have any space. Um, same with PS3. PS3 is, I'm already almost full with this, and then what am I going to do? Lay games on top. I don't know. I just don't like it. If I had one of those shelves, I could fit all these games and, and more. So, going to upgrade that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've got quite a decent number of PS3 games now. I mean, it's the whole row in the back, too. PS1, uh, smaller collection. Once again, I don't really collect for PS1. Um, I love the system. I love some of the old games I used to play, but I'm not going to really go back and PS play PS1 as much. The 3D stuff especially, just this is not aged as well. And then here's uh, you know some of the Starlink stuff. Uh, obviously doesn't belong with PS1, but as of right now, I don't have anywhere else to put it. So it stays right here. And then just some odds and ends, uh, like some art books. These are all strategy guides. And then this is uh, just an empty case. I've never had a PlayStation VR, but I got this from free, for free from... Uh, GameStop. So, yeah. Next Here's our... Oh, sorry. What, I was just going to do the rug. Mm -hmm. So here's the rug. It's kind, it's it's cool, but it's kind of a disappointment because when I ordered it, it was supposed to be almost double the size, and I wanted to use it as like a rug for the center of the room, but it's just too small, so it kind of goes over here. Mm -hmm. And then, go ahead. You could do this one. This is our um, Legend of Zelda case. It's got, I think, most of the games. No, I'm missing a lot. You are? Yeah. Wow, that's surprising. <laughs> I know. Working on it. Working on it. Yeah, this is pretty much all the Zelda stuff we have compiled. And, yeah. Here. Some of these um, World and Nintendo ones I got from uh, Toys R Us when it was closing. So I got them like super cheap. And then just some of the books and stuff. These are, uh, well, this is the first four figures. I don't know who made this. I got this off eBay for a decent price. I think that's my favorite uh, Ganondorf. I think he looks cool like that. And then I did, didn't show on top. We've got the Rivali too, with like a little poster. Oh, we didn't show up here. Just some steel books, some uh, other special collector's editions, whatnot. That's the second Genesis Mini, what was cool. All right, moving on to the middle. Just a Shantae poster. I like the games. They're not my favorite, but they're fun. Uh, but I like that poster, so I put that up. I still hate that they fold all the posters so they have all those lines. It drives me nuts, but what are you going to do? Here's some more, uh, just little statues, figures. And then this is a shelf, too, that I don't know what I'm going to do with this here because I don't have any more room for the Genesis games on this side. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to just move these to somewhere else and do all... I don't can't figure it out yet. But anyways, this is my very small uh, uh, Dreamcast... Uh, collection. I think the best one <clears throat> game I have is the sort of the Berserk. I think that's the best for sure. Uh, and then here's mostly Xbox. Um, just some odds and ends. This is the only complete in box Sega CD game I have. Or Xbox, Xbox One, 360. And then as you can tell, I'm out of space because they're starting to get stacked up down here or get pulled out by the ferrets and <laughs> tossed around. Yeah, but they're... Uh, I'm completely out of space for the game, so definitely have to work on my shelving system for next year. Next up, we have our Persona case. So just like the Zelda one, it's got lots of the Persona series, most games, um, yeah. also some manga and art books. 
So yeah, the first shelf here, video games. I don't have SMT Apocalypse for the D uh, 3DS. I really want that one. And I don't have Persona 2 because it's insanely expensive and I just don't have that money right now. Uh, yeah, and then here, ton of art books and uh, whatnot. Little various things. Here's the head to a big figure I'll get to in a minute. Here's all the manga. We have all the PS3 manga, or PS3, Persona 3, all the Persona 5 as of right now. Uh, and then I'm working on the P4. And then you can't see much in here, but I've got this bag behind it. I have that blow-up teddy that doesn't hold air, so blah, it's just thrown in there. But yeah, oh, and then Arson, chilling up here. Here's the next shelf that's too small that I want to upgrade because it's the same as the other and it just doesn't hold enough games. More uh, steel books in the front right here. And then uh, more collector's editions, stuff like that up top. Then we have our Nintendo Switch games, so. Yeah, decent collection. Once again, uh, you know, as you can see right here, there's it's just two rows and now you can't see anything in the back. It drives me nuts. So yeah, I really want to upgrade shelving. I think that's one of my top priorities right now. Uh, you know, that I just want to get done because it's bothering me. Mm -hmm. uh, original Nintendo. I do have Mario 2 and 3 complete in the box. I actually found these at Goodwill before <clears throat> Goodwill started sucking and not putting out any good games anymore. So I'm glad I have those. Then uh, here's, uh, once again, I don't collect a lot for the older uh, Nintendo systems. I love them, but they're too expensive. And you just don't come across it in the wild. But got a couple of games complete. And then just a bunch of loose ones. I don't know. Do, I even, do you guys even want me to pull anything out? I can talk about each one of these forever. Uh, here's King of Dragons. I think this is actually goes for a decent chunk of change. I've had this forever. And my friends and I used to play it like back in high school. I didn't realize it was worth anything. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what else? Mr. Quest is actually... I really love, I really do, I actually like that RPG a lot. Sunset Riders, man, I could talk about this game for a long time. This is far superior to the Sega Genesis version. I don't care what anyone says. This Genesis version version isn't even the same as the arcade, and this is like, you know, as close as you could get. Uh, and Secret Mana, obviously, is amazing. Same with Super Mario RPG. A lot of good games, I love them. My uh, 64 collection is even smaller. Let's move this guy out of the way. Yeah, just, it's really small. I don't pick up the games only because I don't find them. But I love those systems. Then we have our DS games and our 3DS. 3DS smaller collection over there. Mm -hmm. And then down here is just kind of miscellaneous games without cases. Well, these are original Game Boy. Mm -hmm. And then a bunch of, like, Game Boy Advance. Mis yeah, the miscellaneous stuff. Up Two here. Wii U, our amazing Wii U collection. Don't even own a Wii U, so that's fine. And then... GameCube, once again, really small. And then right below that, let's see if I can get this low. Here we go. All of our oh. Wii games. And this is really bad. Yeah. I already have two full rows, and just I'm putting games on top until I get a new shelf and can fit it all in here, because that obviously I've maxed out my space. But yeah, uh, Wii U games are Wii games. They're super cheap. These ones I do find all the time. Some of them are obviously shovelware, not like super exciting, but I just love going out video game hunting. And it's cool to add them to the, uh, you know, Wii collection. Not super exciting system, but that's probably why it's on the bottom too. Okay, moving on. We're doing good. I thought this was going to be long, but we're just cruising. I like it. So up top, I've got a couple of Persona 5 figures. They got moved up here for a reason. We'll get to that when I show you the main shelf. Just a couple other collector's editions from games that um, aren't open. So, as for right now, I don't really have a better spot. So, they're just up there. Here is uh, one more figure I have that's not Persona related, believe it or not. That's from uh, Xenoblade. And then some Amiibo. I just haven't opened yet. I don't keep any of my Amiibo clothes. Oh, here you go. Here's why. I like to explain them. I don't like the way they look in the boxes. I think everyone keeping them in boxes because they think they're going to be worth money or something like that. Everyone's doing that now. It's not going to be worth money. I want to have them open and display them. Also, we use them for like... Mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild we did, but uh, yeah, I definitely like having them open and like, you know, with each other a lot more than sitting in those boxes. Those ones will come out, I just haven't done it. Did you go over those? Oh my god, we skipped them. So here's Joker from Persona 5. 
This is um, Prime One Studios. It is super cool. It's very tall. The base is awesome. I don't have a better spot. I don't want to keep them here, but I don't have a better spot right now. Uh, he was actually under the spot where it flooded, and a chunk of ceiling came very close to landing on him, which probably would have broken this very expensive figure. So I moved him over here, uh, but I don't know where to keep him permanently. But I love this figure. It's so amazing. Uh, so we have a fish tank. I had two fish. One died just a couple months ago or a month ago. Mm -hmm. This one looks like he's dead, doesn't he? But he's not. He just sits like that. He's old, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know. We do feed him every day. Yeah, he eats. I don't enough. know. He just lays like that. Yeah. So I don't know how much longer he's going to last. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And then, oh, here's uh, the ferret cage. So this is Zelda right here. Hi. And then Peach is in there sleeping, probably in the blanket. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a big cage. She just is down here because she wants to come out because we're down here moving around. So I will show back here briefly. It's a huge mess in the ba uh, back. This is mo mostly storage. But just show you guys a little bit what's going on. Uh, I did buy some more containers. That I'm trying to organize like cables and all that kind of junk in. I have some systems on top, uh, including my Genesis that has the CD. Uh, my only goal for this year, system-wise to pick up, is to get a 32X. Unless um, I can get a hold of a Breath of the Wild OLED for the Switch, which I would pick that up. But 32X is my main goal to pick up for this year. And then have that out over by the arcades. But the, then uh, some just odds and ends. Games I'm trying to complete. We have a ton of consoles, I think. Yeah, these are all, where yeah. all our consoles are. Parker found one of these uh, Nintendos at a garage sale for a dollar. Didn't have any cables, but he brought it home and I cleaned it up and it works perfect. So that was awesome score. Um, I was really proud of myself that day. Yeah. Yeah, I that think, was awesome. Uh, at that same garage sale, I found like a ton of complete games for a dollar too. It was a total steal. And then just a bunch of controllers. Those are all my game soundtracks. Once again, I don't have any place to put it right now until I get more shelving. Uh, some just uh, PS3s. I'm going to clean up and get rid of most of those. I just don't need multiple PS3s. And I haven't found a backwards compatible one yet. This is all just some junk. Um, once again, last thing I'll show back here is kind of like my quote, air quotes manga selection or uh, section I'm building. Just a couple of figures. Uh, here's a bunch of like DVDs uh, or a couple of books. And then here's most of the manga that I've collected. Um, I have the first volume of Berserk, but I actually am reading that right now. So that's why it's not down here. But yeah, that's that. And then I will mention somebody asked last year. I really quickly went over the plants, um, kind of skipped them. Someone asked if I was growing marijuana. Uh, I do not grow marijuana. <laughs> I'm work in the medical field my wife works in uh the education field so that's not something i really want to get into and risk any kind of you know thing happening for, uh... but yeah these aren't doing well they don't like the winter time i'm trying to keep them all alive but just various plants some of them are dead don't don't judge me for that it just happens next up we have our uh... little shelf mm. little zelda shelf. zelda and a mega man i made, I made this mega man years ago out of model magic so yeah he looks kind of weird but whatever it's cool computer desk nothing exciting at all it's just <laughs> computer desk god i do have a couple posters up on the wall here um yeah that's it here's the new mega tv that i got for free as you can see it's way bigger than uh and it's 4k which yeah. the other one wasn't the other one's super old so this is awesome uh, i don't know if you can tell in the video but it's actually tilted slightly because I broke the um, wall mount when I was putting it on. So, yeah, now I need to get a new bigger wall mount because it's a bigger TV. But just um, some games. I do keep the uh, Switch in the back. And then the controllers. This is the Sega Genesis I play on. Um, I do have a Switch Lite, but I only use that for the Mario Kart. And then just some various odds and ends. Nothing and, like super uh, amazing. Yeah, go ahead. And here in this basket is just all our old Disney all Infinity them, yeah. characters and stuff. Yeah, we, we don't even... I think the only time we pull that out is to show it in the video each yeah. year. So, yeah, not, nothing crazy here. Um, just, make, you know, the main hub. I really only play the... Right now, PS5, the Switch, and the Genesis on this TV. I don't even have other stuff hooked up to it right now. And then the last thing, which I'm pretty proud of, I've spent a lot of time working on the shelf, putting it together. 
It's all like my Persona SMT characters. So this top one is just like demons from the various games, little figures. Um, Lucifer doesn't stand up. I got to do something to get him to stand up straight. But that's uh, all those guys. And then here are the Phantom Thieves. Oh, that light's kind of bright on the screen. Sorry, guys. So the reason some of those are on the other shelf is because I got new ones I like more. Like this Joker's better. That Akechi is way better. Um, and then hopefully there's going to be more that are supposed to come this this year. Uh, a better Haru. Not the, This one I figure I like, but it just doesn't work with her sitting in a, with a table. Uh, so she's got one coming out that is supposed to come out this month. We'll see. And then Yusuke is actually coming out this year, which means I'll have, like, all the Phantom Thieves, except for <laughs> Skull. Why won't they come out with a Ryuji figure? No, Why? I'm so annoyed. He's literally the best Phantom Thief, and they still haven't come out with a statue. Yeah, thing. so, yeah, I'm really bothered by that. But I got most of these guys here. If you're not a Persona 5 fan, this is obviously not a very exciting way to end the video. If you like Persona 5, I love, you know, putting these shelves together. Here is the uh, dancing shelf with the dancing figures. Um, I don't have the Rise one. Because that is super expensive on the aftermarket right now. But I'm very proud of this um, shelf. Those lights like will actually like f you know change colors and do all kinds of crazy patterns. Um, which is awesome. Let me see if I can get it to turn on right now. There we go. Yeah, so as you can kind of see, they move. And they'll switch after a little bit. They go to different things. So, um, yeah, there you go. So it's really cool. I actually made this like disco uh, base. Out of all, you know, I made each one of these squares in acrylic and put the lights down. So, I was, I'm just really proud that it, you know, came out like this. Uh, you know, pretty, for me, not knowing what I'm doing, it's, I feel like it came out pretty good. So, I'm, I was very happy with that. And then the last one is just a lot of miscellaneous figures from the series. Uh, works good to, you know, hold these little chibi ones. And then, like, some of the bigger ones in the back. I do have to build better shells. These are just, like, two-by-fours that are painted, but... They're wobbly, and I don't trust them. I would like to spread out. I have one more, but... We're going to wait till the ferrets are... Uh... Well, we can't use it with ferrets. They would destroy anything down there. So everything's kind of jammed into here for now. And then I don't know what I'm going to do when I keep getting more figures, because I'm probably going to keep getting more figures. So yeah, anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching our room tour. Yeah, Appreciate that's it. the whole room. Look how tall this kid got this year. It's nuts. So yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Having a lot of fun working down here and improving things over time. And uh, hopefully next year's video will have even more fun stuff to show. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anything else you want to say? Um, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And uh... Whenever you're watching it. Yeah. Have a good time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. See ya.